And continuing our team coverage on a much broader scale, Super Bowl security being handled from right here in Colorado Springs. In a story you will only see here on News 5, NORAD and Northern Command at Peterson Air Force Base, the epicenter of command and control. And I got to see firsthand how they handle any security threat. This rather imposing facility on the grounds of Peterson Air Force Base houses within its bowels what is, comparatively speaking, a rather small room but his staff with the most impressive collection of men and women and their intelligence gathering expertise that has a thumbprint of enormous national and international scope. This is the NORAD and NORTHCOM Command Center, a joint U.S.-Canadian operation, access to only the highest level of security clearance, so it was a treat for this unclassified civilian to get a closer look. Folks here in the command center provide direction to the, the forces in the field mm -hmm. uh, in order to take action, and that's, of course, done under the supervision, if not direct interaction with uh, the commander. Since we're talking about security for the Super Bowl, let's put this in football terms. The Department of Homeland Security calls the play. NORAD NORTHCOM execute it. That means that plans are in place months in advance. And from this command center, any threat from air, missile, or space sea or cyber is tracked. Department of Homeland Security is the lead federal agency. They determine the requirements uh, based on information that they have uh, and then uh, NORAD and NORTHCOM uh, basically uh, step up to meet those requirements and, and decide what kind of forces that we need postured in order to uh, uh, take whatever actions required. These are very experienced men and women. They've been through this process before, but in the run-up to every Super Bowl, they conduct an exercise here, a rehearsal to simulate a full operational response. Their primary focus, controlling the airspace around the Super Bowl, a 30-mile perimeter. No one in, no one out, without proper clearance. Basically sanitize that airspace and ensure that uh, we've got a positive control of all the air traffic in and out of that airspace uh, to, in order to provide security for the event. Nonetheless, clueless pilots have been known to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. Yes, sir. It happens all the time. Colonel Lyons tells me general aviation aircraft have been known to enter the restricted space. And the response? Well, a couple of F-16s or F-18s get their attention real quick. Give that pilot uh, visual signals in order to uh, encourage the, the pilot to basically leave the sensitive area. So while you're sitting at home focusing on the game, NORAD NORTHCOM, they're watching everything else. They serve as the conduit between federal, state, and local law enforcement, which have provided additional assets on the ground in Minneapolis. Commanders here direct strategy to those in the field. And with memories here on base of those who have successfully attacked this country and who continue to try and crack our security networks, and look for ways to inflict damage on what is essentially a national holiday, the mantra here, we have the watch, is deadly serious. We put a lot of effort towards evolving along with that threat and staying one step ahead of it to respond to it. And when the game is over, their job is not done. The team comes together for what they call a hot wash, reviewing their strategy, their response, any mistakes that might have been made or corrected. They're always game planning for the next event to make sure the process always improves.